Hello, everyone. I will introduce Apache Pulsar Opportunist Community today. I'm Jennifer, Apache Pulsar Committer and Content Strategist at Stream Native, responsible for various content and community growth. Today, I will introduce Apache Pulsar from four perspectives introduce Apache Pulsar history, our diverse community, community culture, pain points, and opportunities. First, I will introduce Apache Posa. Does anyone know Apache Posa? Uh, if you search it in Google, uh, search Apache, you might find some picture like this. If you search Posa, you will find some models like this. And together, they become Apache Posa. Which model is best? Which runs fastest? Uh, we can discuss this later. And today, I will introduce another Apache Pulsa, a cloud-native distributed messaging and event platform. First, let's have a look at the Apache Pulsa history. In 2013, to solve its inner uh, problems, Yahoo built Pulsa as a cloud messaging platform. And three years later, Yahoo open source Pulsa. And in 2017, Posa entered Apache Software Foundation and after one year graduated at top level Apache Project. Last year, we began to promote Apache Posa actively all over the world and host 10 more meetups and win 100 more adopters. This year, to make Pulsar more user-friendly, we enrich Pulsar ecosystem and build stream native cloud, make Pulsar as a service reality. As you can see in this inverted pyramid, Pulsar community is composed of users, contributors, committers, and PMC. Users and contributors play a large part in our community, so we care our users and contributors. As you can see in this picture, we have over 100 users all over the world. Some big, um, some big industries like Verizon Media, Yahoo Japan, Splunk, Apple, Apple, Hulu, and some others. And in China only, we have more than 40 users like Tencent, Tuya, China Mobile, China Telecom, Zhihu, and so on. Our users come from different industry and they use Apache Pulsar in different use cases. They, build, they use Apache Pulsar to build event center like Zhilian Zhaopin, use it in push notification like Getui or transaction like Tencent and Hulu. You use it in IoT scenarios such as EMQ and Tuya to build the smart home. We also have other use cases. So it's listed here, you can see it. If you, um, if you search Apache Pulsar and Kafka in Google, you will find some articles like Kafka is no longer keen for big data, Kafka is not best anymore, meet Pulsar. And they would share some reasons why they choose Apache Pulsar and why they finally move to Apache Pulsar. So we believe that we will have more users in the, up, in the upcoming near future. Now I will introduce some uh, some contribution growth in the last year. In last November, we have about 117 contributors, 1,000 active members on Slack and WeChat. And in after less than a year, now we have over 300 contributors, over 2,000 active members on Slack and WeChat. Those contributors contribute to most of our pull requests and commits. So you have seen that we have very large PR numbers, folks and the stars. 
And I will introduce some active, uh, some key metrics that developers care most. Every month we have about more than 100 active pull requests and uh, issues. As you can see in last month, we have 171 active pull requests and merged 127 of them. Among the 136 active issues, we fixed 84 of them. So you can see that we are quite active in our community. So I also show the figures about the commit in last year. You can see every week we have average about 20 commits. For the cloners and the clon numbers, you can see that POSA has uh, win 12 or, th or 13 th um, thousand clones in every two weeks from about 400 cloners. This is a huge number. And for the page views, also at least the numbers in two weeks, we have about 36,000 views from about 400 unique visitors. So you can set everything's open source, POSA witness active contribution. Thank you for your effort for every contributor for POSA. Another thing that the developer care most is about POSA release. Ever since the end of last year, we adopt POSA uh, we adopt a time-based release plan. Every three months, we would uh, have a major release and uh, adopt uh, and and adopt uh, the features that our users care most. And every month, we would have a minor release. We would uh, fix some bugs if uh, the release have and uh, improve its uh, functionalities and performance. So we also maintain our project is quite proactively. To make POSA uh, user-friendly, we build a POSA ecosystem and have various uh, um, things and sources. Currently, we have about uh, 30 things and sources around POSA. We also build POSA Flink connector, POSA Spark connector. We have some offloaders like AWS i3 offloader, file system offloader, GCS offloader. We also build Kafka on POSA, AMQT on POSA, and MQTT on POSA. If users are using Kafka, AM, AMQP or MQTT, they can migrate their data or applications to POSA easily. So if we want to explore the, the full POSA ecosystem, you can visit the Stream Native Hub. You can find all of them there. If the one you are using we don't support at the moment, feel free to contact us. We can develop the ecosystem together. Now, I just introduced uh, some key metrics that the developer care most. I want to say that POSA community is a diverse community. We have more than code. We also provide comprehensive documentation to help our users and the community to better understand the Apache POSA. To better understand it, uh, uh, since we have we are a global community, so we have some localization project for POSA docs. Currently, our um, pro localization project are in French, Japan, Chinese simplified, Chinese traditional, and some also ask for Polish. So if you are interested in the localization project, you can also reach out to us. We also work with our engineers on some technical blocks to deep dive some key features. We work with our users on some success story. We also pro 
provide professional trainings and invite POSA experts to our training like Webler and TGIP. We have launched a global conference like POSA Summit and the local meetups so our contributors or users in our community can communicate easily. In the last year, so as you can see in this global map, we have over uh, we have we have process meetups in over 13 cities like Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Ch Chicago, New York, in uh, Europe like London, Paris, Berlin, and in China like Beijing, Shanghai, Hangzhou, Shenzhen, and in Tokyo, uh, Japan, we have different meetups in those cities. POSA community witness rapid growth ever since its graduate. So, I, so in, 20, in 2018, we have two POSA meetups. In 2019, we host the five Apache POSA meetups and co-host the 10 more joint meetups with other community. We also pr present our talks in 20 more meetups. And this year, we have two global conferences concerning POSA Summit. One POSA Summit virtual conference happened in June, and the other one is POSA Summit Asia 2020, which will occur in at the end of November. And now call for presentation and sign up are open. If you are interested in us, feel free to submit your talk, share your POSA stories with our audience. This year, we also launched a professional trainings and invite um, POSA expert to our webinars. We host our webinar monthly and we host our TGIP training weekly. TGIP means thank Godness is POSA. We also have a panel discussion with our developer community every two weeks and would hold some joint meetups online with other communities. I'd like to share some pictures of the meetup. So you can, from those pictures, you can see that POSA community is growing bigger and bigger. Since POSA is so active, you might, um, you might be interested in how to join us. Yeah, if you are familiar with GitHub, you can find the Apache POSA project in GitHub easily. So we have some many list like dial, commit, and user. You can subscribe to our many list and receive the latest updates related to POSA project and the community activities. Whether you use like widget, we have those channel for you. And we distribute our content to Medium, to Zhihu, to Jianshu to YouTube, to slides, talk. We promote it activity in Twitter, LinkedIn, and some other channels. So we have various channels. So if you are one, if you are interested in us, find us in those channels. We are here waiting for you to join us. POSA develops so rapidly. So I'd like to, you may wonder what culture do we have? So I will introduce our community culture here. As I mentioned before that Apache POSA is part of, of Apache Software Foundation. So we follow the general community culture, like be open, be welcome, friendly, patient, and supportive. Here, I accept this. Uh, when you join us, you whether in Slack or WeChat, you would find that you will, the welcome environment. When you meet some problems, whether in GitHub or in your production environment, we are always support you. We are always here to support you. We try to make everything transparent so you can find as much information as you can in our community. 
We know that diversity strengths our community, so we welcome, we are trying our best to make our community to be diverse and inclusive. So whether in whether you are in America, in Europe, in Asia, in India, or other countries, whether you are good at coding, writing technical documents, writing type blogs, speaking, or design, or anything, as long as you you can you can make contribution to Pulsar community, and we are in need of you. Except the growing, um, the grow the community growth, we also might some pain points and opportunities. Now I will show some pain points here. For example, uh, whether in Slack or WeChat, our users are quite active in those distributions uh, in those channels. They would ask uh, ask some questions when they might. However. Um, it's hard to collect those questions and reuse them. So the other time, another um, user meets the same question, we have to answer the question, the same question again. So we are trying to encourage our users to ask questions in open forum. So it will be easy to search those QAs and reuse the answer in the, near, in the future. This is really a pain point in our community. I'm not sure whether um, other community have the same pain points. Another question, uh, another point is how to explore new users. If you have the solution on, uh, on this, feel free to reach out to us. We'd like to deep dive, uh, explore the solution with you together. So stream native helps um, to build a passion pulsar as a botanist community. If you are interested in us, join our pulsar Slack if you use Slack. If you use WeChat, you can also scan our post, join our pulsar WeChat. So that's all my presentation. Do you have any question? Thanks very much, Jennifer. That's a great presentation. Um, so anybody that from the audience, if you've got a question for Jennifer about the presentation, about Pulsar, then please write your question in the session chat, okay? And then we'll we'll go through that with, uh, with Jennifer. Um, so meanwhile, I'll wait, waiting for that. Um, I have a question. So you, you mentioned the pain point and you were saying that you're wanting to what, so explore new users. Is that you're trying to attract new users or you're trying to find some tasks for the new, new users? Uh, we want to attract some new, uh, new users. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But you, your community yeah. seems really sort of diverse as it is because you mentioned, you know, you have all the meetups happening, you've got some in Europe, in China, in Japan, etc. So you, you must have been very quite successful in doing something to, to, to build the community so far. So, you know, I know it, it sounds like you're successful already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this year, um, since the COVID-19, it makes it harder to uh, host some more um, offline meetups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, let me just check back the chat. So does anybody uh, from the from the audience have any questions for, for Jennifer? Just please uh, type them into the chat. So, so far, I haven't seen any, but I, it was a really interesting presentation. Thank you. Thank you. I think I can hear somebody with a dog. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're getting, you're getting some nice, some uh, thank you. Some people are saying thank you, Jennifer, for the for the thing and great talk as well. So you're getting some feedback coming from from people, but no no questions at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you for the for the presentation. And remember, if you if you'd like to see the presentation again, where everything is being um, recorded, so you'll be able to see that on the YouTube channel in the in a few days. Um, thanks again to uh, to uh, Jennifer. Oh, hold on, we have a we have a question here um, from uh, Richard, Richard um, Eckhart de Castillo. If I sorry if I mispronounced that, he says, "Do you get good support from the companies?" Um, yeah, uh, how do you see the good support from companies? Mm -hmm. uh, you mean from different companies, uh, from uh, our users? Uh, if the question means uh, we could get support from our uh, user companies, I say that yes, our users are quite supportive and provide uh, a lot of information on how to improve a passion pulse and they also they are very glad to uh, work with us on their success stories they are some some uh, users are very uh, supportive and uh, would uh, help us promote a passion pulse in their in their company in their businesses and uh, in other businesses for example like tone center uh, first uh, they adopt a pulse in beaming system and later they found that it's an ideal solution for them so they began to help uh, help us to promote a passion pulse in their different businesses like iot or ai Okay, so Richard has added a few more yeah. things here. He said, um, he says uh, he has experience from a university context where volunteer developers don't get paid, and so it makes the development, you know, not sustainable. So I think yeah, it sounds like the question is is more like, you know, with are, are people being paid to work on it um, as well, or is it all completely volunteers? Uh, good question. Uh, actually, here uh, some of our uh, volunteer developers are from um, our users, and some of them are um, people who are interested in POSA. They want to learn more about POSA. The, I, I think the more you give, the more you take. You take uh, for uh, I want to tell you the truth that uh, some of our uh, volunteer developers are. Uh, um joined our company at last yeah yeah there's a comment here saying yes um it's a common problem for open source communities which i think is true you get people that can contribute on a volunteer basis and you get some people that work for companies that use the software so therefore they have they want to maybe either give back or actually help support their business by having people in in that community as well or paying people to work on it so it's a bit of it's a bit of a mix so and i think it's it's nice where companies yeah. can give back as well if they yeah okay so uh, yeah okay thank that's a thank you from richard yeah. that's great so any more questions for jennifer Okay, I can't see anything else in the chat. So, so, so thank you. Oh, yeah. So thank you. Everybody's saying thank you. Thanks for the talk. So thank you very, very much, Jennifer, for a great talk. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> okay, take care. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye.